Sir Mark Kevin Diacos. My full name is uh, Mark Kevin Cosico Diacos. I am a registered nurse via profession and a licensed professional teacher. Uh, to my expertise, so ICSA is uh, ha was hired me uh, and hopefully uh, my expertise will help you to reach your goals. So before we start with the orientation, you should identify what are your goals, all right? So while you are listening to me, you should be able to uh, e try to imagine what are the things that gives you uh, or pursuing you to attain your goals. All right. I will be giving you at least one to two, uh, three seconds. One, two, three. All right. So as of the moment, you identify your goals in life. But now I will help you through the uh, or the CEO World magazine help us to identify the top three common goals in life. And those are, so it includes your financial stability. It includes the career and family. Again, we have the financial stability. We have career and family. Of course, when we are building or when we are creating the goals in life, all right, we are looking forward to have a financial stability. Okay? So any one of us, it's it's not good to think that we are doing something without uh, looking forward for financial stability. And next, we also have the career, all right? So career means that once you are in a certain uh, goal or looking forward for your uh, uh, aims, all right? So you have to uh, pursue for a better career, right? So job opportunities, careers, and of course, when you look at that, we are always considering our family, right? In Filipino traditions, so we are looking for family. We are always a family-oriented person. Okay, so let's move forward. So thank you for the uh, top three common goals in life. So probably you have different, but it can be classified into three. All right. So again, let me repeat. We have financial stability, career, and family. Let's continue. So to attain those goals, to receive or to attain those goals, we have to identify, right? We have to identify or use a specific, all right? A specific tool, which is the SMART method. We have to use the SMART method. So what do you mean, sir, by SMART method? So it includes you have to be specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-based, right? So how to set your life goals? So uh, when you are aligning, all right, when you are looking for your goals, you have to be specific. I want to be a millionaire someday. So that is not specific because the word is someday, but you want to be millionaire after a year. So that is specific. So in setting goals, you have to be specific. Number letter M, we have to be measurable. So our, let me ask ourselves, or you should ask yourself, is it measurable? Right? So is it measurable? Is this, uh, or do I need to take the course with duration? So for example, you want to finish the course with uh, three months or only. So is it measurable? So yes, because you are setting your goals in a measurable setup. Okay. And letter A, it is attainable. So you would ask yourself, is it attainable? So some people attain this kind of diploma courses. So you should think about that. And letter R, you should think about the relevance. Letter R or we should need to always relate the relevance. So uh, health and social care, is that a uh, relevant course that I need to take it, uh, th that I need to look forward? So you should ask yourself. 
And letter T is we have the time base. Letter T, we have the time base. Well, so, of course, we are talking about time. Again, uh, it is really essential. It is really essential to attain any goals with time base because without looking forward for time, you will be lost in your goals. You will be lost on your goals. All right, let's continue. So, in uh, starting on our orientation, we should answer, or maybe you have this kind of question in your life. So, why should I enroll myself in health and social care diploma course? So, probably you have this kind of uh, questions in your in your mind. So, let's move forward. What makes UK Diploma in Health and Social Care better than the other courses? Okay? So, we are, I'm not telling or I am not persecuting that your uh, current job is not enough. Or it. Uh, I'm not telling that your course or your uh, degree is a degraded degree greater than or uh, comparing to UK diploma course. But I am telling you that even you have this kind of course, you will be able to think because UK diploma course is one of the in-demand courses, not only in Kuwait, not only in UK, but all over the world, right? So answer for that two questions is, Caregiving is universal. Sir Mark, so probably you will think it, you will be thinking. So what is universal? In Filipino, ang caregiving daw ay pangkalahatan. Alright? Pangkalahatan. Alright? So sabi po, one of the uh, former, uh, former first lady of America, so Rosalind Carter, identify that there are three or there are four kinds of people in the world. Those are who have been caregivers. So in Filipino, sila yung naging caregivers na. Number two, those people who are currently caregivers, such me, I am a nurse, right? And even my wife is a nurse. Then, number three, those who will be caregivers, so Probably and hopefully, I am praying that you will be the one who are studying and after the orientation, you will pursue to take this course. And number four, for those who will be caregivers. So what do you mean by for those who will be caregivers? This is the money, all right? Look at the dollar sign. Look at the pound sign. Look at the uh, Australian dollar sign because... This number two is the source of your money. Those people who needs caregiver because they are willing to pay. They are willing to pay lots of their uh, Australian dollars, US dollars for them to taking care of, right? So number two, we have caregiving is a noble job. What does it mean? If you talk about uh, caregiving is a noble job, Noble job, noble job because the responsibility of caregiving is uncomparable, unmeasurable. So first, we have number one, assisting with personal care. So would you imagine, all right, would you imagine that you have, all right, they are paying you lots of money for us to help them to what? To comb their hair to cleanse their poops, to change their diapers, right? So those are things that we need to understand. Okay, let's move forward. So another duties and responsibility of a caregiver is general health care. So in general health care, so you as a caregiver and nursing assistant, you will be able to understand the what? The simple medication, what are the medication that should be take uh uh yeah that you can uh help the patient to take or took the medication. So what are uh, it also includes your vital signs, checking blood sugar or uh, and body mass index. So those includes in the general uh, health care, right? 
So next we have the duties and responsibilities. So another one is mobility and assistance. So what does it mean? So our employer, the home care facility, or your uh your um a resident so uh resident and patient are the same when we talk about the home care facility so we are the one who are responsible to assist them in their mobility always remember that you as a caregiver we as a healthcare provider we need to increase the the activity of daily living of our patient and one of those is providing mobility for our patient all right so during our class if you will enroll you will identify those uh techniques on how to use walkers canes and uh, um wheelchair all right so next we have number 4 all right, we have personal supervision. So by supervision and personal supervision. So it means that you are a caregiver. You are not a supervisor. You are a supervisor of your what? You are a supervisor of your patient. You are the supervisor of your patient. Wherein you are providing uh, personal-centered care or person-centered care. Right, so you are looking forward not only for their uh, physical needs, emotional needs, but they're also their um, all totality and holistic part of the patient. All right, all holistic yeah. part of our patient. All right, so let's continue. So we also have emotional support. Uh, during our class, if you will enroll, I will teach you to what are the proper ways on how to uh, support our patient emotionally. So most of our patients are depressed because they were abandoned in the home care facility. But don't worry, all of the necessary um, uh, therapeutic communication will be entertained and will be teach to you or uh, I will be teaching you all the techniques on how to emotionally uh, or on how to support your patient em patient emotionally. All right. So number two, we have caregiving is a high in demand with competitive salary. All right. With competitive salary. So look at this. Look at your screen. You will be able to identify the trend of aging population. So what do you mean by aging population? So on this chart, you will be able to see, right? Okay. You will be able to see the trends of those people who needs for care of a caregiver. Right? Those people who need care for a caregiver. So these are the trends from 2017 to 2050 and 2000. 2,100. So it really increased the population. Population of patients who are aged in 60 years or over. All right? Okay. Let's continue. All right. So we have four Top destination countries for health and social care, we have Canada, United Kingdom, or UK, Australia, and USA. So let's start with Canada. So of course, we are looking forward to go to and have our selfie in Canada. All right. So one of the uh, safest countries in the world. And we will, if you are looking forward to use your diploma course in Canada, so you need to identify the economy of that country. All right. So as of the moment, the Canada is ranked ninth, uh, or the one of the richest country in the world with a largest economies and rank nine in the world. So how about the healthcare? So healthcare facilities in Canada is free, 100% free. Let's continue. How about the education in Canada? So education in Canada is fourth best country in the world. So it is essential, yes, because we're not looking only for us. 
in Kuwait, probably uh, many years you are uh, stayed in Kuwait. So uh, you are already encountered that there are difficulties on, on going to university here in Kuwait, prestigious schools. But in Canada, you will be able, or your family, you can get to your family and you they can be what? Uh, is can study in the prestigious uh, schools in Canada. All right. Next, we have the Canada as the one of the uh, safest country in the world, and of course, rank of so place to live. Right. So second, good place to live. Right. So of course, you are not obligated just only to work, work and work. You're also obligated to what? So to do your what? Tour. To do your gala in Filipino. You can go to Niagara Falls and the uh, famous uh, area park in the metro of Toronto. All right. So let's continue. According to LinkedIn, one of the famous uh, website in the world. So the in the need. For healthcare providers, for a nursing assistant or caregiver for Canada is 32,000. Would you imagine that? So it's lot, uh, it is a large number to, uh, for a opportunity for health and social care. So you can try it out. Okay. So now after the pandemic, so the SOAR, all right, the SOAR high or the peak of job vacancy for healthcare professional increased. Right, so it really increased. And on the next uh, slide, you will be able to see that you are more in demand than nurses. So look at the screen. Look at the screen. You will be able to see that nurses only what they wanted only twenty three percent of nurses, while you as a caregiver and nursing assistant are thirty five percent with thirty five percent chance of. Uh, getting the job, right? So it's it a good news? Yes, na yes. All right. So let's go to the peak of this uh, uh this orientation for the Canada. Okay. So as of the moment, you can get nineteen point twenty one per hour uh average uh salary for the entry level. Again, for the entry level. So once we compute it only for 20 days, for example, you want to work only for 20 days, you can receive 1.5 million per year if you are a caregiver in Canada. So do your math if you will, what? Change your 20 days into 30 days. You don't want day off, all right? So you will more uh, receive more money or Canadian dollars for that. All right. Another one is in Australia, one of the uh, world's sixth largest country, the oldest continent, the last land, uh, last of lands, or the last frontier. Looking forward to the eco economy, it is rank 13. It is rank 13. Pwede na? Okay. Pwede na natin puntahan? Yes, we can go to Australia. How about the he uh, healthcare facility in Australia? It is what? 100% free access to the public health system. All right. How about the education? So Australia is ranked as the third in the world. Australia is ranked in the third in the world with quality index of 70.5. All right, let's continue. So how about the opportunities? Well, one of the uh, famous uh, provinces in Australia, Melbourne, Victoria. So they need lots of uh, caregivers. We're in 249 and lots of caregivers in different parts of Australia. So if you want to go to Australia... You have to look also the salary per year or salary annually. So you have to divide, right, or times your the salary or the conversion, but it depends on the conversion rate. But once you are you do your math, you can receive 2.2 million pesos in a year as a caregiver in Australia. 
All right? So we are not just looking for the money, but we want to see the kangaroos. In Australia, yes, kangaroos lives or prominently uh, provided or lives in Australia. So if you want to do your picture, selfie, you can go to the Australian theater uh, movie art or theater, uh, theater art building. Okay. So let's move forward. We also have our United Kingdom. So we're in the diploma that uh, ICSA is offering is what? Came from United Kingdom. Okay. So would you imagine that you can post your uh, Instagram account, Facebook account, check in in United Kingdom. Check in in Scotland, Wales, and Northern islands so looking forward economy of your uh, united kingdom is top six in the world top six in the world so probably you have your chance or if you have your opportunities so grab the opportunity in united kingdom let's continue so how about Sir Mark, how about the healthcare facility in UK? So hospital treatment is free. So for those who are staying or for those who have their ICAMAS in United Kingdom or for those who have their resident ID in United Kingdom. All right. So next we have the, uh, when you are looking forward for the best destination, for uh for caregivers, we should consider UK as one of the best country that you need to consider. So is UK the best education system in the world? Yes, because it is ranked two in the world. All right, United Kingdom well known for these prestigious universities such as Oxford and Cambridge University. So would you imagine that one or 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 if you are tired on uh, studying, continue your studying, you can what? You can see or for at least your family, your son or daughter will go to Oxford University. Yes, if you are dreaming for high, dream for high. All right. Next. So another one, one of the prestigious uh, universities in United uh, Kingdom is University of Cambridge. Okay. So United Kingdom is the health and social care in demand in UK. So is it in demand in UK? Yes na yes. So full-time equivalent healthcare workers in United Kingdom is provided. That's why UK provide lots of diploma courses stretching out and bring it to Yun, uh, Kuwait. So really, it is our privilege. It is a good opportunity for us to what? For us to grab this opportunity and enroll for this kind of diploma courses. All right. So let's continue. So how about the opportunities in UK? So after pandemic, 52% highest since record began. Is it a big number? Yes. Is it? Yes. So the opportunities for caregivers in United Kingdom is very high. All right. So let's continue. So when you do your math, you have your 36,642 pounds per year or you have your 18.75 per hour. So let's convert it into peso as of the as of uh, last month. So you can receive salary of 2.5 million pesos per year. All right. So United Kingdom. So uh, finish the your motivation on the money, but you have to motivate yourself doing your tours. All right, doing your work-life balance. So, when you go to United Kingdom, you can see the Buckingham Palace, the bridge, the famous bridge in London, the stone, uh, the Stones Hedge, or the Big Ben, or the famous club in London. All right. So let's continue. We have the another top or the uh top destination for caregivers are the United States of America. All right. So in 
through the uh, GDP or the gross domestic product, USA is rank one in economy. Again, USA is rank one in economy. How about in education? So you, you, United States of America is rank one in education. All right. So again, I'm telling you the education because we are not looking forward only for yourself, but we are looking forward for what? For your family, for your daughter and uh, um, son that you are looking forward to bring them to your promised land or for your uh, good opportunity or destination that you want to go. All right. Okay. How about in USA? So, unfortunately, in USA, there is no free healthcare facility. But if you have your good employer, they will give you a chance for to pay insurances. And those insurances can cover your healthcare uh, assistance. All right. How about the opportunities? So, there are lots of opportunities for your health and social care. So uh, 14,000 in social care worker and 13,000 for medical social worker in United States of America. Okay, let's continue. Sir, Sir Mark, how about the salary? So this is the exciting part, right? So the exciting part is the salary of uh, health and social care in United States of America is what? 31,532 to $45,300,000. Let's do the math. So, for example, the conversion is 55.53, up 43. So, we can convert the thousands per year or 1.7 million pesos. All right. So, we also have the famous... Uh, tourist spot in United States of America that you are trying to look forward. And what are those? You have your uh, Statue of Liberty in U.S. You have the Golden uh, uh, Bridge in San Francisco and the Grand Canyon, right? In Arizona. Okay. So I have tabulated the four top countries, but uh, for example, you want to go to your uh, New Zealand. Uh, these are the tips. So you have to look forward the education, the salary, the job opportunities, and the healthcare access or the access for health or free access on their services. So looking forward to the math, we can see that uh, uh, United Kingdom provides the higher salary for health and social care, all right? Next. So what are the pros and uh, pros of being a professional caregiver? So of course, let's, let's have a stabulation. So we have a competitive salary, flexible working hours, no need experience for some uh, employers, variety of care settings. So what do you mean by this variety of care settings? So variety of care setting includes that you as a caregiver, after doing some job, you can do part-time jobs, right? In private homes, daycares, nursing homes, or hospital. Is it a variety of care settings? Yes, yes. All right. So you can you will be able to provide a what? Lots of money when you have lots of opportunities to choose from. All right, so let's continue. All right, let's continue. So, did you know that uh, UK diploma course that uh, ICSA is offering is internationally recognized. Recording stopped. Recording in progress. <coughs> All right, so sorry for the, we are live. So 
Okay, it really happens. Okay, let's continue. All right. So, UK Diploma in Health and Social Care, manami na ba ang naging nangarap at sumubok at nakagraduate? Yes, we have lots of our student already graduated from this course. All right. So, now we will start to identify o aalamin na natin kung ano ang mga uh, ino-offer ni SSA. So, first we have the level diploma course in health and social care, which has... Oh, you will be able to receive 60 units. Next, level 4, uh, 120 units. So you will be able to receive 120 units. What are the difference between the two? We will identify that. So let's start with level 3. Again, we will start with level 3. So level 3, for those students na hindi nakakuha or didn't receive any uh, high school diploma, you can be able to attend uh, or you can be able to have your diploma in level 3 qualification structure for uh, health and social care. So what are the uh, subjects on your level 3? First, you, I will be able to teach you. All right, I will be able to teach you what do you mean by health and social care. I will be able to teach you the communication, proper communications. All right on how to promote health in population, pets, person-centered care, diabetes care, stroke care, and dementia care. So what do you mean by this, sir? So each subject, you will be able to receive 10 units. So sir, uh, you provided seven topics. So the good news is even you hindi... Even 60 units ang makukuha nyo, bonus na namin ibibigay at ituturo itong understanding in dementia. So you will learn 10, uh, all in all, you will learn 7 subjects but you will receive 60 units. Alright? So let's move forward for the structure qualification for level 4. Alright? So what do you mean by level 4? Level 4 is those people who already received their diplomas from their high school degree. Meaning, nakagraduate po sila ng high school and meron po silang high school diploma or mga bachelor's degree na naghahanap pa ng another courses. So ito po ang pwede nilang pasukan, ang level 4 UK Diploma in Health and Social Care. So ano po ang mga subject? What are the subjects? So the subjects or the topics that uh, included in health in, in your level 4 are the academic study skills. I will be informing you that. So it includes your learning style, what are the things that you are uh, looking forward, what are the, your strengths, your weaknesses. It will include in your academic study skills. Number two, you also have your communication in health and social care, right? Introduction of healthcare policy. So, uh, what do you mean by healthcare policies? So, of course, we are healthcare policies are those na uh, policies in United Kingdom because they are the one who are giving the uh, diploma. So, in Filipino, ang nagbibigay po ng diploma ay ang UK. Pero totoo po namin kayo dito sa uh, school ng ICS-8. So, ichuchus nyo po kung <laughs> sorry, ichuchus nyo po kung online or face-to-face -face po. Alright. Let's continue. You also have your reflective practice, managing people in health and social care, and sociology concepts and ill health. Sir, hindi ko po maintindihan lahat. Alright, hindi nyo po pa po maintindihan lahat. So don't worry, I will be guiding you all through the way. Alright, once you enroll the course, I will help you all through the way. Sa lahat po ng pagdaraanan nyo, tuturuan ko po kayo dyan. So of course, it will you will be adjusting yourself na mag-aaral ulit. But again, uh, look forward or always put in your mind, alright, do your mindset. Prepare your mind that 
you have to think the dollar sign. You have to think the pound sign. All right? So those are your motivation in your life. Next, let's continue. We also have... All right. So, sir, what are the requirements to pass the course? So, you have to attend live Zoom class and face-to-face -face classes. And you have to get a, a score of 40 on your rubrics or you will pass six, uh, six assignments. Sir, what do you mean by that? So, kung face-to-face -face po ang atinan nyo, pipili po kayo ng mga uh, uh, dates kung saan po kayo papasok. We have, the, we have Friday batch, Saturday batch, uh ma Sunday batch and uh Monday batch. So currently meron po tayong Friday, Saturday, Sunday and Monday. So so yung Sunday po sa Mahabula siya and the rest is Quiet City branch of ICSA. So sino po ang teacher there Sir Mark? So most all of nam face to face po ako po ang magiging uh, instructor nyo and we have other teachers for the online your online uh, for health and social care. Sir, ano po ang meaning nitong 40 on rubrics? Ito po yung mga assignment na ipapasa nyo. So you have six assignments, whether it is level 3 or level 4. Whether it is level 3 or level 4, you have six assignments. And yung assignments po na yon kailangan above 40. Huwag po kayong magalala. Gagawin po natin makapasa po kayo dyan. Alright, ang pinakamahalaga po, i-enroll nyo po siya at matututunan nyo po yung mga pakaan sa pagiging, uh, para maging isang caregiver or nursing assistant. Okay, so what are the requirements to achieve the certificate of diploma? So, you, all, you only have to complete all the assignment and you have to uh, fully paid your tuition fee. In Filipino, babayaran nyo lang po ng fully paid pagbayad na kayo lahat makukuha nyo at kumpleto na kayo sa assignments. So, pwede na namin ipadala sa UK or pwede ko nang checkan yung mga assignments nyo and ipadadala na namin sa UK. So, ilan na uh, araw nyo ipaprocess yun? Ilang buwan mapaprocess bago makuha yung diploma? So, we are, take, uh, we are always informing our student that the diploma is uh, takes time. Why? Again, tandaan po natin, ang mga diploma na legit, legal, internationally recognized, ito po ba ay kailangan at inaayos at hindi mabilisan? Yes. That's why there are lots of process and it takes four months. Pinaka-maximum na po yung four months. Sir, napakatagal naman po. Don't worry. Uh, uh, kung meron po kayong mga employer na, pag-uusapan po natin yan once na maka-enroll na kayo kung ano po yung duration na gusto nyo pong atinan. But as of the moment, ibinibigay ko pa lang po kung yung maximum ng inyong pwedeng makuha na yung inyong diploma. Sir, paano po pag uh, immediate po at may employer na ako, paano ko po makukuha yung diploma? Madali lang po yon Kung tapos na po kayo makuhang course, ipadadala po namin kung saan pong panig kayo ng mundo na, na pa-assign. Right, So, lahat po naman meron ng DHL, LBC. So, we can send your diploma after you, you finish the course. Alright. So, what are the materials that you need? So, you have to bring spigma manometer, BP apparatus, stethoscope, and glucometer. So, ituturo ko po ito once maging okay na ang lahat. So, kapag naka-enroll na kayo, pwede na namin tong I, uh, pwede ko pa ulit itong i-remind sa inyo. Pero as of the moment, pinakamahalaga lang po once na pumasok po kayo is makapag pa uh, makapag-enroll na po kayo at i-orient ko po ulit kayo sa mga kailangan yung mga materials. Right? Okay? Madami na ba tayong graduate? So ito po uh, si Ma'am uh, Aileen Tamonan. I-play ko lang po ito. Mabilis lang po na video niya. So hopefully, ma-encourage po kayo. My name is Aileen Tamunan. My family, especially my son, is my inspiration here while I take, take up this course because I want to give them a better life someday if I have a good job 
and while taking up this course i learned so many things like you have to develop a deeper level of commitment in your studies work harder to reach your goal and work towards your expectations in life i am very thankful especially for my employer for all the support especially financial support and for giving me time to take take this course and of course i'm very thankful also for my family and mom pao for giving her time teaching us thank you all right okay after finishing the course what are the papers or document that you will get so you will not only receive your diploma you will receive a TOR or transcript of record and diploma. Again, diploma, there will be no expiration on your diploma. Again, there are no expiration on your diploma. Okay, next we have, uh, what are the values in health and social care that I can learn after finishing the 